Hello and welcome to the Gaitex Global Dubai. We are at the Dubai Harbour, right? And currently we are sitting at the Future Blockchain Summit. And I have Vlad over here, so you might already know him from the podcast and everything about the Green Falcon. So hi, how are you? Thank you very much. Hello, salam alaikum. Hello from the biggest technological event ever in uh, Dubai. Jitex Global, Jitex Impact and uh, Future Blockchain Summit. And we are here with our project uh, named Green Falcon. This is a sustainable carbon neutral blockchain platform which unites several goods and services uh, which are uh, acting to uh, mitigate climate change, to uh, provide sustainable behavior patterns for individuals and businesses, to fight against pollution and uh, to make air quality better. And uh, we have already uh, several projects on board it and uh, later on I will tell you about them. Sure, definitely. I mean, uh, it's like a great initiative within uh, like the technological announcements we have. It's too much carbon, uh, you know, emissions going on in the environment. So there needs to be someone who has uh, solutions that can make us carbon neutral, right? So and that, that's where uh, the Green Falcon comes in. So tell me more about how uh, the utilization of blockchain, the AVM, and uh, how carbon neutrality uh, is being done by the Green Falcon. Okay, so one of the projects running on the top of our uh, blockchain, it is called Green Tips. So tips to nature, like we are paying tips to waiters. Here it is, it is called uh, Green Tips. It is B2B to C payment processing platform with uh, payment hub and product hub embedded into it and uh, it provides an opportunity for individuals and businesses to measure their carbon footprint of their consumption and at the checkout you can see how much uh, CO2 is associated with your consumption for example for good services at the restaurant checkout etc and uh, you are prompted to make some donation to nature we call it tip tip to nature like paying tips to waiters why not to pay some tips to nature which is our best waiter in fact and this money goes directly to carbon offsetting projects here in the UAE. It is uh, uh, related to mangrove trees. You know, mangroves. It is one of the best uh, carbon offsetting project. And uh, all all transactions are on the blockchain, so it is transparent. Uh, you see all the sources and uses of funds. You see how much we take as a, as a platform, our income, how much money is taken by the merchant for the services, and how much money goes directly to the green projects. On the contrast with uh, traditional carbon credit brokers, uh, which are middlemen behind green projects, individuals and businesses, uh, we uh, exclude and disrupt, uh, disrupt this market by excluding the middlemen behind and connecting directly people with the green project they uh, wish uh, to grant some money. And when people uh, understand they've got engagement into this process and it is local, because, for example, uh, people living in the UAE are uh, having very uh, serious troubles with air quality. Air quality is very bad here, especially in summer. PM 2.5 particles uh, is extremely high, bad for health. And uh, in order to absorb it, we need uh, to make uh, uh, our environment greener. And you can make it by planting mangrove trees. And actually, there was very interesting things told by MBS, Mohammed bin Salman from Saudi Arabia, that one day main region will be New Europe, it will be green. And it can be done by uh, people who are caring about the nature and all together we can make it greener. And uh, also uh, when paying such, such tips to, uh, to nature, we uh, grow mangrove tree under your name, you see it in your dashboard uh, and you, you are getting NFT and you are getting loyalty point and this loyalty point can be redeemed in the network of green merchants who are within the ecosystem so you can pay for goods and services so it's not only about uh, charity and environment but uh, you've got uh, utility for that and also you're helping nature and you're helping to mitigate climate change in the region you live in and how does uh, you also have like the z loop and the dao functions as well how does that help in uh, taking the decisions within this ecosystem? 
it, it, it is EVM uh, compatible blockchain, uh, EVMA standard mint and uh, Cosmos. And uh, all the decisions are made by uh, voting. So uh, there is governments like in POS system, but uh, we will make uh, uh, some special feature. In, it will implement special feature into this ecosystem, so there will be uh, proof of uh, importance, so to say, that each vote will matter. Because uh, lots of criticism about p traditional POS systems uh, comes from community that uh, only big whales are governing it, in fact, and uh, small uh, stakeholders cannot influence any decisions. And in our case, uh, one vote, one wallet. Uh, it, it will not depend on uh, the sum of money you have on the wallet, so pure democracy. In this case, it will be more democratic, but not plutocratic. And people will vote for the green projects uh, to which to invest. They will observe those projects and by uh, uh, crowd wisdom, so to say, we will make uh, such kinds of solutions. So people will understand that it is transparent because traditionally carbon credit markets are absolutely non-transparent. There are lots of uh, uh, negativity around that because uh, they are only on paper and in fact uh, sometimes they are non-existent. One year ago there was a huge scandal. There was an independent investigation, journalist investigation uh, in Guardia, uh, which told, uh, told, which discovered that 90% uh, of the biggest uh, carbon offsetting project run by uh, Vera, which, which is the biggest carbon credit registry, it was not asset backed by real trees. So all big names put their stamp there, told it's okay, it's existent, but they are not existent in fact. And here people will observe whether this forest exists or not, whether it is cut it uh, and uh, villas are built there or still it exists. As simple as that. So it's going to be much more regulated and seeing that exactly uh, the ESG is, the work has been done all right, right? Uh, in terms of uh, the newer developments, right like we are day by day uh, giving out more co2 so how uh, is going to be reduced like definitely the green falcon is going to help it but what other things that we should do there are several more initiatives so uh, our uh, blockchain ecosystem is aiming to uh, connect uh, many good green sustainable projects another project within the ecosystem it is called the loop uh, it is working in several european countries originally from France, it is also working here in the UAE, and uh, the idea behind this project is related to plastic credits. So you collect uh, plastic bottles, bring them to recycling points and getting loyalty points for that. So we are changing the behavioral part, uh, patterns of individuals. Some people are uh, doing this just, just for free because they've got some vision in mind, and in some countries they are not especially in poor developing countries. In Europe, for example, people are responsible and they sort uh, garbage and they uh, sort plastic. But in some developing countries, for example, in Indonesia, uh, which I am going to visit this weekend, there is no uh, such uh, culture in uh, behavioral part patterns of individuals. So there is lots of plastic waste in the ocean due to this fact. And it will provide them an opportunity to uh, sort plastic, bring to recycling points and earn some money from that. And uh, this, uh, they can either exchange, uh, trade this token at the exchange or they can use it to redeem for goods and services within the ecosystem, to pay for mobile phone, to pay for delivery, etc. Et so the second big initiative, very important, because plastic it contain, is contained in, all, in our organism, in our lungs already, several grams of plastic. It's a huge problem everywhere. Uh, a third project, it is called Bank Go. Uh, they are here also at the exhibition and it, it's the fifth pavilion. Uh, they are so-called Uber of recycling. What they do is uh, they uh, promote impact points to the individuals who are bringing uh, old electronics, broken electronics, old iPhones and toys or batteries, etc. to special recycling points and they are granting loyalty points uh, for uh, these actions and uh, people uh, can also spend it within the ecosystem. So three projects are already uh, running on, on, the, on, on the top of our, our ecosystem and uh, more projects to, to come. I have met several very good green projects around here related to water, related to 
plastic recycling, etc. So uh, we will also onboard them. Moreover, uh, we will have a so-called Ever Green Falcon DAO, decentralized autonomous organization, on the top of our blockchain. It will collect 13% of all the inco incomes of validators from commissions, and these incomes will be uh, then uh, invested into carbon offsets, carbon credits, and, uh, be gr and grants for green, good, sustainable projects. Great, and <clears throat> talking about uh, the taxation, the carbon taxes are also, you know, uh, the people should do it by their as a voluntary because it's, it's the world for all of us, right? So we should take initiatives. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, absolutely. We must be responsible by ourselves and not depending upon the third parties, government, big corporation or your neighbor. We need to show by our example we, that we can care about uh, the nature, can sort plastic, can sort electronics and uh, can plant green trees and uh, to implement other uh, sustainable green behavioral patterns without any involuntary uh, carbon tax from the governments. Involuntary uh, taxation doesn't work because uh, the same case was with CBDC in Nigeria. Uh, they tried to implement CBDC involuntary and it didn't work. Only 0.1% uh, was actually implemented. People didn't accept it. They told that we will go to the streets, there will be violence, etc. Uh, the same can be with involuntary uh, carbon tax, which globalists and governments wish to implement upon us. It's absolutely non transparent. We don't understand how funds will be used. Uh, and better to uh, provide grants for uh, such projects like our project and for other green projects and to provide some benefits for people who behave sustainably, who have uh, good green uh, habits in their behavior. Provide them some discounts for insurance, for medical services and the goods and services uh, whatsoever. And uh, this will have global impact upon the mind of the whole generation. So our project is uh, about philosophy and about uh, the changing the mind of the next generation which will change the planet to the better. I think that's the best way possible that, that you mentioned, like providing people uh, having good habits, some credits or something, right? So that's the way people uh, take initiatives from uh, their side and that's going to eventually impact the world, right? Yeah. So uh, if, I, if, if we going to continue, like he has a million thoughts to talk about, uh, but for now, let's uh, wrap it up. So what are your last thoughts uh, you want to share with us? My last thought to share is better to make peace, not war. It, and it, unfortunately, it's happening the opposite thing in our uh, environment. And I hope uh, such projects like our and, and uh, other projects running on the Green Falcon blockchain will change things to the better, will uh, help uh, to distribute wealth uh, more smoothly from uh, rich and toxic countries to poor and green countries. Yes, they can buy carbon credits from there, can, can pay for plastic recycling there. And this will change the life of the whole generation globally. So let's go green together with Green Falcon. Thank you. Definitely. Going to fly high with the Falcon, right? Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.